do one more. Here I have 3x minus 15 all over 4 plus x plus 47 all over 7 is equal to 11. Uh, so let's see, this one involves fractions. Let's take care of them out of the gate by multiplying by a common denominator. Let's use 28. There's a lot to keep track of in here, so 3x minus 15 all over 4 plus x plus 47 all over 7 and 28 times 11. All right, so we'll take that 28 and we'll actually distribute it to both parts on this left side. So we'll take it to this giant fraction here and we'll take it to this giant fraction over here. Now what that's going to do is it's going to allow us to cancel out those fractions in the bottom. Uh, let's see, 28 over 4 would give us a 7, so that's still going to be multiplied by that 3x minus 15 part. Then when it distributes on the second piece, uh, 28 all over 7 reduces, and that goes in there 4 times, so we still have a 4 multiplied by x plus 47. And then over on this side we have 28 times 11, that's 308. Okay, so some fairly big numbers. Let's continue distributing, see what we can do. Let's take this 3, multiply it by the 7, and we'll also take the 15, multiply it by the 7. Do the same thing with the 4 on this side. Uh, hopefully free up those x's, get them out of parentheses. So 21x minus 7 times 15. Let's see. 105 plus 4x, and now I have 4 times 47, that'd be 188. Again, some big numbers, but just have to push on through. Okay, I have more than one copy of x here, so let's get those guys together, and I also have some things that do not have an x, so let's get those together as well. 21 plus 4x would be a 25x, uh, minus 105 and a positive 188. I think that will give us an 83. Okay, looking good. Now we only have a single x to deal with. So we'll simply work on getting that isolated. We'll subtract an 83 from both sides so that the 25x is the only thing on the left side. Let's see, so 308 minus 83. This will give us 225. All right, almost done. Let's go ahead and divide both sides by 25 now. And this will give us x is equal to 9. Now this one is quite a lengthy process to get all the way down to just x equals 9. And again, even when you get that far, go ahead and double check it just to make sure that it actually works out. So let's see, I have my uh, 3 times x minus 15 all over 4 on one side. In both of those blank spots, let's go ahead and put that 9. All right, now let's start to simplify, see what we get. Uh, so 3 times 9, that would be a 27 all over 4. Let's see, a 9 plus 47, that would be a 56. And we're hoping that this will equal 11. Hoping. Uh, 27 minus 15. Let's see. So that's 12 all over 4 plus 56 all over 7. Getting closer. 12 divided by 4 is 3. 56 divided by 7. Let's see. That goes in there 8 times. 3 plus 8 is 11. 
So sure enough, this one checks out. So I know that uh, x really does equal 9. So when going through the solving process, you do have a lot to keep track of, uh, but the most important thing is to really work on getting those x's all by themselves and isolated so that they are the only thing on one side of the equation. If you have to deal with fractions, use the common denominator to clear them all out. And also, definitely go back and check your solution to make sure it really is a solution. Thank you for watching educator.com.